Then we start the journey. Then the enemy breaks out. Well, he didn't, he, he, he didn't tell me all this stuff. Couldn't there have been a better route where we could have avoided all this? Even if it would have taken longer, it would have been better than have to make all these decisions now on how do we deal with these enemies as they are trying to destroy us. When you're leaving God out of the equation, it allows fear to kick in. No longer to be conformed to this world system. How does the world system deal with the tragedies, the blessings, and all the opportunities that is presented? Are we still dealing the same way, or have we found a better way? Because in its pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness, the world fulfills these by satisfying the human craving for physical pleasure, a desire to have everything that we see and want, and taking pride in our achievements and possessions. He says, you need to turn away from this process. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the boastful pride of life. He said, leave that world behind you. You no longer make decisions based on how pretty it is how it makes you feel, or what, how you're gonna be perceived when you have these accomplishments. And possess. he said, that way of world, the world, you need to leave it behind. He told Abram to leave, leave his particular family.